Hi, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa, the Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. There seems to be a very large disconnect between the CO2 levels in the atmosphere that have been rising and in fact rising at record rates in 2015 and 2014 and the global emissions which are supposedly leveling off over those over the last few years. So last year 2015 the global CO2 levels in the atmosphere as measured by the standard um, in Hawaii on the uh, mountain Mauna Loa um, registered a rise of 3.08 or 3.09 parts per million in the atmosphere so that's for CO2 and that's a record rise that's the highest it's it's ever been that's the highest we've ever recorded and the previous year the gain of CO2 was also very high you know 2.7 2.8 something like that so the CO2 levels in the atmosphere are still going up in fact at record rates so the climb in CO2 is uh, exponential if you do a best fit line taking out the uh, the winter summer seasonality so why is it record highs well the global emissions were supposedly leveling off not rising in fact for 2015 and for 2014 so there's only a couple of reasons that I can think of for the disconnect between these two important uh, metrics and uh, the first possible reason would be that we we're not reporting the levels of emissions the, the, the co2 emissions correctly so for example if china is severely under reporting or india or some other country then that could be a possible uh, explanation that the, the numbers are just invalid but a more serious explanation would be um, if those numbers are being reported correctly would be that the actual CO2 emissions are rising from other sources. Um, if human emissions have stabilized and they're on a rapid rise either being either from the Arctic, emissions from the Arctic of CO2 uh, coming out of the uh, permafrost. Uh, for example, if there's oxygen present and you get bacterial breakdown of the frozen, um, of the, the thawed organic matter in the permafrost, then that would be producing lots of CO2. The Indonesian fires are another possibility. So, or perhaps the sinks have decreased. So there's less CO2 being absorbed in the ocean. Uh, and this would happen with a warmer ocean. So it could be related to the very powerful El Nino increasing surface ocean temperatures. Um, so these are some of the possibilities. So it's either being reported incorrectly or the emissions from the earth are rapidly increasing. So the latter is a very big concern because if the emissions from the earth are rapidly increasing then the levels will soon be taken out of human hands and this is the uh, big concern then we'll be going I, I do think we're undergoing uh, rapid or abrupt climate change and the emissions from the uh, from the earth itself are going to be rapidly increasing so I thought I'd just put together this video to show the uh, incongruence, if you like, between these two, uh, two, two things. So thank you.